All right, so this is first coming into the coach. Here's the front door. Say hi, babe. Hello. My chair. The cockpit's not that impressive, so I'm not gonna make you guys look at all this stuff. We'll look, we'll get a better view of it when I'm down the hallway. So this turns into a full-size bed and we pulled it out, blew up the mattress. It worked nice. I don't know if it's good for adults, but it'd be okay for the girls. One adult. And then we have some storage up there above. And then the fireplace that is decorative and puts out heat and there's a little remote for it right there and you can set it on a timer and you can change the temperature I had it set for 30 minutes to shut off automatically and it did so that's good <clears throat> um, and behind this thing right here are like more outlets and things like that to plug in it's a really nice TV Samsung smart TV did with a nice Samsung yes there you go so you can see it going um, with the Samsung soundbar so our phones hook up to it very very easily here is where you can have a printer so he says I really think maybe it's more for a base computer but I don't know and then here you have a place for your I have my notebook in here right now but um, you can pull this out for your laptop and I just put all the remotes to, yeah, we have a couple of remotes. <laughs> um, I just put them under there so when we're driving around today they don't make a ton of noise. So there's more storage under here, which is where I had my shoes last night. This table pulls out further. I'm not going to pull it out right now though. But you could seat four people. Uh, I don't know if comfortably is the word. But you could seat four people there, you know, not a problem. The cool bag that has all of our paint colors, um, tile name, everything like that, so that if anything happens, we know how to get in touch with Integra and tell them what we have. <clears throat> this is really cool. This pulls out for extra counter space. So it's like a little island. And the drawers are really deep. Deep and wide. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Also, I didn't show you this, but this couch here, part of the couch can be pushed in. So when we are driving, we have to, you know, pull in the slides. So we have to push that in when we do. So I'll take a picture of that later when we have that pulled in. We have our cute little Keurig that Chris picked out a great color. It matches perfectly with the kitchen. The backsplash I really like because we had looked at another one and the backsplash was terrible. Although I do see some discoloration right here in this tile in that one. But I guess that's probably not a big deal. All the cabinets have this where you can um, put, what the heck? Not, yeah, Velcro. If you have Velcro on the bottom of something, it just sticks to it automatically paper plates which I don't really care for but we have them for now and then these roll out so that's pretty cool and this drawer here it feels like you're gonna break it well I didn't have it shut all the way so <clears throat> trash I have a bunch of stuff in this bin so that it doesn't roll around while we're driving um, plastic bags for recycling trash bags whatever but these things are cool. So when, look at me doing it one-handed. I know you're so proud and impressed. This just goes on here like that. Actually, I have it upside down, that one. This is upside down, right? Is it so it looks better. There we go. So now we have more counter space like that. This thing opens, you can put sponges there, and you can just throw your trash straight down in there without having to open this drawer. That's not shut all the way. Under here is our cooktop. And this piece of wood that covers it to give us more counter space gets stored up here. Look at me doing all this one-handed. It's They keep it hard to open so that it doesn't fly out when you're driving. 
I'm not gonna try to do it one-handed, but you get the idea. We have storage under that. This is the dishwasher, which it's really cool how it locks. I'll fool with that later. But I just want you to see that. More drawers. This is really neat. I like this one. So you have your silverware here, but you can also slide that and put, you know, serving spoons or whatever under here. It's pretty cute. It's very cute. Then the pantry, we thought we were going to have to get, oh, hold on one more thing. We have an air vent right over here for cooking, which is really good because that was not there before in other coaches. Neither was this lighting that comes on as soon as you open the cabinet. So it's a really like great pantry, actually. I need to go today and get liners for in here so stuff doesn't roll around. Um, and then across from the kitchen is, I didn't even show you guys the, we have a refrigerator, full size fridge, super nice. This controls all the lighting in here. There's one in the front. So we're standing in section two. So that's section one. Hey babe. Hi, you can see the one. cockpit and the TV up there. This is section two, but this controls everything also. And then section three is back there. So here's the bathroom. It's got a full-size mirror, which these doors don't like to stay open. Hi. That's how you tell if it's left or not. Um, tons of storage. It's really nice. I've already got, this stuff is for cleaning the water. I can't really remember what he said about that. I'm using this drawer as storage for the toilet paper, which clearly is not working very well, so I'll fool with that later. Um, this is how you flush the toilet, just and you can control the level of the water by doing this. And this cabinet, they uh, every cabinet is so hard to open, but in here has all the, um, tells us like how much fresh water we have. This is so cool too, I'm gonna show you this. So we have our ceiling lights, but then there's also accent lights. Pretty cool, huh? I like it. And there's a vent above for when dad visits. Ha <laughs> ha. Then we have our door here, which shuts like so. So then here's our they say it's a king size bed. My sheets fit it. There's a little, um, they don't fit it perfectly. So I'm not sure. I don't think it's an exact king, but it, it, it was fine. We slept, you know, fine last night on it. Um, tons of drawers here. This whole thing will slide in and that side will slide in. We have a ceiling fan, which I thought was kind of silly, but it actually worked pretty nice last night because we're, we're still learning how to exactly control the temperature because <laughs> it gets, it'll get really hot and then it'll get chilly. So we have to work on learning that system. This door um, has a pressure, air pressure control thing. So when it's, when the um, coach is moving, we have to, it's best to keep it open like this because you can get trapped in there if not. <clears throat> But that's nice because uh, it actually protects the door nicely. So then we have our bathroom. I'm able to fit three towels in the bottom drawer nicely. And um, to try out the dryer, I, you know, we just showered. And after we used the towels, instead of hanging them up to air dry, I threw them in the dryer just to, you know, get the dampness out of them and... The dryer worked nicely. We have a medicine cabinet, a really nice shower. It's actually kind of too big because the way the water pressure works, if you have it on all the way, then you're gonna run out of water faster. So I had to keep it on like a low water pressure, which means I'm like hugging the wall. <laughs> hey, so this is the closet. It's really cool. It's um, Censored to come on the lights as soon as you open the door or if the door's already open and you put your hand in I got a cute little basket for our laundry or dirty clothes and then 
Uh, we'll put our suitcases in the bay when we're, well, they call it the uh, basement. I'll put those in there, not this trip, but, you know, when we're doing bigger trips. I got this for the guest bed. It's a nice little comforter. And then this super, super soft throw. So there's two points of entry for that. And then here is our washer and dryer, which is really nice. And then another vent. No, it's 10 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's it. That's the coach. Hey, babe. Hello. I'm going to take a picture. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed our little tour.